how more spirituality, how more natural ray of living. So that's what you see. Socrates was living very natural, very pure, and probably he lived and lived and laughed as an animal. And he shared love and sex. He wants to divide divide his love and his compassion. So Socrates was very natural living and that's important. How more spiritual, how more animal, how less civilization is touching you, how more all the dogmas and all those so-called civilized talks, political correct talks, you can drop it away easily. Page 105. The esoterical Islam, the inner Islam, Ismael was talking about the inner revolution, inner revelation, inner revelation. Esoterical Islam is Sufism. It's the Islam what is going to your inner source, an inner line. So you have the ecstatical. Islam and the esoterical Islam. So Ismail was also talking about inner revelation. Afrus talked about spiritual enlightenment. When he was 30, he said, I'm spiritual enlightened. And the heavens are eternally moving. He said the heavens were eternally movement. One, nine, four. At the age of 30 and 265, the heavens are eternally moving. He was talking about the opening of the inner chakras in your body. So you can go with your acquired intellect, your separated intellect, your pure mind, you can go to your inner chakras, to the heavens in your inner body. That is what Aphorus was saying here. Aficenta. Avicenna, page 320. Permanent self awareness. Permanent self awareness. And then you create a higher electricity bill. Metaphysics from Aristoteles. If you have permanently self-awareness, you reach the source of light. That is what Avicenna was saying here. Avicenna and Aphorus talks 
about the same thing, right? About the same thing. The same as what Rumi was saying. That you are a hybrid figure. Hybrid in the sense you're a spiritual human and an animal. And how you combine that. That is what Rumi was talking about. About the balances in your system. And I talked earlier, right, to you. How higher spiritual, how more animalistic you are from your deep consciousness. Dissolving in an ocean of honey. Dissolving in an ocean of honey. So if you're connected with your heavens, you come in an ocean of honey. And you remove the veils from you and God, from civilization and God, you kill, you kill civilization, and then you can reach God. That is self, self-realization. So that is Sufism, right? So I talk with you about different philosophers, prophet philosophers in the Arabic history, and they talk all about spirituality, and they talk all about reaching higher consciousness states. They talk about inner happiness as a medicine. All the philosophers here were fighting about happiness. And that is what you want, right? For yourself, in the society. So the philosophers were nothing more than life coaches. They were pure life coaches. Prophets were also and are life coaches. Philosophers and prophets are life coaches. That is what I read here in this beautiful and wonderful book about the different philosophers, the Western philosophers and the Eastern philosophers, the crossovers between the different empires. Thank you for watching this uh, book report and uh, I see you uh, by uh, the next uh, spiritual uh, book report. Hi, hi.